2018 Harley-Davidson Fat Bob 114. Review. When Harley-Davidson pulled the covers off acclaimed 17 new models a few months ago it may have unintentionally blunted the impact of that announcement with the sheer quantity of bikes being presented. Also, perhaps the not really that new nature of some of the bikes, e.g., Street Glide CVO, may have quieted folks' enthusiasm for the stuff that really was worth getting excited about. Point is, Harley's complete overhaul of the Softail lineup, as well as its decision to scrap the Dyna platform, was a really, really big deal. And perhaps no single model best encapsulates the revolutionary nature of that action more than the 2018 Harley-Davidson Fat Bob. Placed side by side against the 2017 Fat Bob, pretty much the only thing that's remained the same is the name. The 2018 model has a different frame, swing gauger, engine, suspension, and aesthetic. It is lighter and slimmer. It is equipped with different tech. Even the tires are different. This is most definitely not a case of the same old same old. In fact, there is an argument to be made that the 2018 Fat Bob, along with the 2017 Street Rod, is in the vanguard of a new and different direction for Harley-Davidson. Engine The Fat Bob is a machine that eats Wheaties for breakfast and breathes power. Its Milwaukee 8V twin engine is available in two sizes, 107 cubic inches, 1753 cc, and 114 cubic inches, 1868 cc. A recent Cycle World Dyno test of the Fat Bob 107 saw it producing 74 horsepower and 100 pounds to foot of torque. The 114 obviously produces a certain amount more. Harley would probably want me to tell you that the larger, more powerful bike is better, but in quiet, anonymous conversation its engineers admit the power boost isn't that dramatic. Given the choice, though, of course I'd still go with the bigger engine. It's torque rich and delivers great engine braking. It was generally smooth, but I felt some vibration as speeds increased. Handling, Ride Quality, and Brakes a lighter weight bike allows for quicker acceleration, which I could feel going up steep inclines, while the remodeled chassis brings improved handling through a 91% increase in stiffness. That means a better lean angle and great handling around corners, aspects I used to their fullest potential when trying to keep up with a fellow rider who had been to the Isle of Man TT five times. I fell into a pattern of using engine braking from the finely tuned Milwaukee 8 when coming into corners, along with a tap of rear brake, then a few pulses of the front brakes when hitting the apex of the corner. Then roll out the throttle and line up for the next one. Rear preload is easily adjustable with a knob on the right side, just below the thigh, you have to remove the seat to adjust the rear monoshock on most other soft tail models, which is convenient if adding luggage or a passenger. The clutch lever is easier to engage, no insane hand workout required for shifting. Thank you, Harley. There are no noticeable issues with heat, but I did learn the hard way that the exhaust's heat shield won't protect your rain gear. Comfort and Features Keyless start and USB charging ports are standard on all the 2018 Softail models. I have a whole new appreciation for the USB charging port after traveling for 50 days on my Indian Scout, which does not have one. It's definitely nice to have when you're relying on your phone all the time for things like directions or checking the weather. All the new Softails also feature LED lighting, the Fat Bob's large single headlight really helps it stand out. ABS is available as a $795 option in the United States and comes standard in Europe. 